Hey y'all, for supper tonight, I'm going to make some pizza roll-ups, and um, they're just a little bit different than your normal pizza roll-ups. They're real quick to make, and they don't take a lot of ingredients, and you can make them your own by adding and subtracting uh, ingredients that you like or don't like. So anyway, I'm going to put you down where you can see the pan and we'll just get started this is what it's going to bake on <clears throat> and I have the oven preheating to 375 so we will get these open to begin with you'll use two packs of these and We'll start out with one pack and get them all ready, and then we'll go on to the next pack. So I just try to unroll them in one big sheet and then cut them apart. And you have eight pieces. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, instead of buying marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce or whatever you might use to, to make yours with, I got a can at the Dollar Tree of tomato sauce, and they had it in the big size jar or cans. And here it is in the bowl. I'll move some of these over so you can see. So what I'm going to do is take some onion salt. And I'm going to take about a teaspoonful of that. A teaspoon of parsley. And a teaspoon of garlic. Onion, parsley and garlic and here's sugar and I'm going to use about a teaspoon of sugar also that sugar really helps cut the the um, hardness and acidity of the tomato And so you just mix that up all real well. And I'm going to put several tablespoons full of this into the ground hamburger meat that I did. And I don't have the package that I bought this in because I bought a big pack and then put it in smaller packs. But it's... If you can see, for this terrible lighting, I'm just trying to mostly just wet the, the um, hamburger. I'm going to put just a little bit more. Now we're about ready to get started. Get these put out where you can work with them. Now I have cheese sticks that I bought in bulk at Sam's Club. And one cheese stick would really be too much, so I'm taking a pair of scissors and cutting down the middle. And just laying these at the, at the widest part of the um, croissant roll. So 
So there's that. I believe I'll turn them all with the open cheese side down. That might help keep some of it in better. Then, takes a, a spoonful of your ground hamburger and lay it on your croissant roll about like that if you can see and then just start rolling it from the big side down to the point and you're going to lose some of your hamburger but that's okay I just kind of pick it back and put it over onto the next one and do that again and it really does help if you have some of the the um, um, let me look because I can't think what I'm trying to say the tomato sauce if you have some of that mixed in with your hamburger so there you go I'm going to go ahead and finish um, I have another container of croissant rolls and I'm going to finish it up and then what is left of the um, tomato sauce, the seasoned tomato sauce, I'll warm it up and put it in a little cup for a dipping sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and finish rolling them up. I'm going to stick them in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes or so until they're nice and brown and take them out and then we'll come back and see how they taste. We're back and the pizza rolls are finished and I'm gonna hold them up where you can see a little better because our lighting is so bad, but these are what they look like finished. And then I'm gonna put them on a plate or put a couple and we'll give them a taste. Okay, let me show you this way. We'll give them a try like this and you could just bite into yours if you wanted to dip it in some sauce I didn't care for any sauce there was enough on the hamburger meat and I'm going to show you the stick where it melted a cheese too but here is my bite here is a stick of the melted cheese mm. this is so good um, I might put some more um, or dip it in the um, tomato sauce mixture Either way, it's really good. And anyway, as you saw, it was quick to do. Kids will like it and all that. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.